Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. Happy Friday. I don't know about you, but, you know, I'm always excited when Friday comes. Not that my life is all that different because I am retired, but, you know, it does signify the end of the week. And um, sometimes when it's a long week and you're busy, ah, you're really ready for, you know, your weekend. So something different anyway so today I'm not really feeling like doing a lot so I thought maybe I'd do some collage and just chit chat with you guys mostly chat little chit <laughs> and I thought we would work in my little um you know my collage book that I started that I um got the idea from Gail and Augusta Nelly and I've been working in it a little bit and what I want to do is I have all these pink scraps now I don't have scraps like Gail has. I, these are mostly being cut offs from digital kits, right? So they're just edges. But I thought what I could do is use them on the back side instead of using just like a piece of paper. But if you remember, I had taken both um, scrapbooking paper and, and digital kits and I cut them up to make these um, big rows pages so I still had some that I hadn't used up and I think these are from uniquely Ella and so I thought what I would do is finish them and make them into um you know some uh, collage pages sorry it's been a long week I'm ready to relax I am ready to play so I thought we'd just play. So how are all of you? Are you all good? Everybody well? Um, I wish I could say I'm all. I still can't get rid of this sinus thing. I don't know. I'm getting sort of nervous about it. So hopefully eventually the antibiotics that I took, well, they're a 10 day. You only take them for five. So I'm hoping at some point they'll kick in and I'll start feeling better. So fingers crossed, right? Okay. So I want to cut up some of these. Um, I'm going to cut this. Is that the exact same one? It's kind of, sort of, huh? Um, I'm going to cut them up a bit. And then we'll just glue them down and make some scrap boards, collage boards. And just have a nice time. I figured I could turn on. I was going to do this anyway, so I thought, well, I'll just turn it on and... Maybe we can chit chat and see what you guys are up to and what's new and exciting in your lives. I don't have anything new and exciting in mine. I know either at the end of, I want to say in March and April, we're going to go to Arizona, hopefully to visit our son that's, and his children, my, my youngest grandbabies. We're still hoping for that, but honestly, I don't know. If I can't get well and stay well, I, I can't go, you know, so that's going to break my heart, but I also have to be realistic about my health, so we'll see. So anyway, um, there's that. You guys got any plans? Anything new? I don't think anybody's got anybody to get married. I think last I heard you all, all had your weddings, but you know, it's coming on spring again, so maybe there's new weddings coming up, right? A dear young friend of mine who was in my son's wedding um, was his... Well, she would have been a maid of honor, but she was on the guy's side. So best man, I guess. Best girl. Jody. Uh, she had twins right around the holidays. And so I'm so excited. I'm also hoping to get to see those cute little critters very, very soon. As soon as I'm well, the minute I'm well, I'm going to call her up and say, hey, can we get together? I want to, I'd like to meet the twins and your little boy who I have not met yet either. So, um... All right, we've got some things cut. Remember I was talking about that before, how you just get your papers and you just cut them. You don't have to use scraps. You can use whatever you want. And I may, just on some of the really white, white, white edges, just quickly go over some of the um, rough spots because there's an awful lot of white. And I don't really want that on my collage pages. Now, these are not the kind of collage pages you do with Margaret Miller. Those are different. Those are the prompting kind. These are the other kind. Someone said, well, what's the difference? Well, there's collage pages you do 
with prompts. And then there's some that are just artistic, that are just arty collage, paid collage pages. And then you have this kind. So there's all kinds. There's just lots of glue and have a good time and, you know, not think at all, just relax and play. That's kind of hopefully what I'm going to do today. We'll see. So, all right. And I like to start in the corners. I've always been one who liked to, you know, put something down in the corner. I'm going to move these out of the way, actually, because they came out. The book fell apart, of course, right away. So I want to, I can go a little over, you know, and then, um, I love the sound of this paper. This is deli paper. I ordered a big old thing of it and then found out it doesn't particularly glue well. It Because of the shiny side, it keeps the glue, doesn't get in there like it should, doesn't stay on. So anyway, you can use it. You just got to really kind of make sure you have the right glue and use the right one, right? So I like to start in my corner. Hopefully my head's not in here, although my hair is done. I actually look decent today. Usually I'm a hot mess on Friday, but not this Friday. I'm about to run out of glue. I think I'm going to have to go grab me another glue stick. I forgot. Sorry about that, you guys. Hmm. Let's go this way. Let's get this. And let's see. Let's get a piece we don't have. I'm looking to see what I don't have that has some pattern. I love this. And this is good and that's good. That's good. I'm gonna put that one down there. I might as well just glue right on the page, right? It's going fairly quickly. put it down a little bit. Get my card. I actually think I want to put that up there. I'm going to need a strip, but maybe I could use that. No, one of these is wider than the other. Is this one wider? Yep. Or I could use one of these. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what I want to. So, anyway, um, I did have someone asking me, you know, if I would share a little bit about you know, where I came from growing up, a little bit about myself, more than what I've already shared. But I thought I shared quite a bit, but uh, I'm going to pull that up a little bit. See if I can get that in there. I can. Okay, so um, I was born and raised in San Jose, California, which for those of you who know, that's the Silicon Valley. When I was a girl, it was called the Fruit Bowl because all of the good amount of the world's fruits and vegetables were grown there, mainly fruits. We had a lot of fruit trees, walnut trees and almond trees and apricot trees, and peach trees, some of which grew in the neighborhood that I grew up in. Uh, cherry trees. I mean, it was every fruit you could think about, every fruit you could think of. So it was called the fruit bowl and uh, prunes, 
we had a lot of manufacturing and um, when I was a little, little girl, we lived close to downtown San Jose um, in kind of a area where the mall was, um, Valley Fair, I think it was called, and Macy's and Emporium, those kinds of things. A lot of uh, downtown businesses, department stores were there. Um, and we lived there for like the first five years of my life that I can remember. But then about then, I was getting ready to go to kindergarten, and my mom and dad moved us to a, and we were living in a very old little house. Adorable. I loved it. Um, kind of, oh, what's the style? It had like a pitched roof out front, kind of kind of chalet, Scandinavian. It was just adorable little houses. And um, we lived there until I was about five, like I said. And then we moved to Campbell, California. And um, in a brand new neighborhood, it was up and coming neighborhood. And um, my dad had gotten a good job. And so we they kind of got to buy their dream home, which was a brand new home, never been lived in. Uh, it did have, it was surrounded by orchards. Um, the area was Central Park. It's called Central Park. And um, it was in Campbell, right from, right down the street from what is now known as the Prune Yard. Then it was an actual prune yard. Uh, later, when I was um, well, probably in elementary school, they actually built a big old shopping center called the Prune Yard. And so we lived there for, well, until I got married. And then not long after I got married, my parents moved away. And so they moved to Marin, and Marin, California. And um, so we... But I lived there till I got married. So that was a brand new home. I loved it. It was a big um, four bedroom home, family room, living room, dining room, kitchen, big kitchen, big Eden kitchen. And I had a what a tiny little bedroom when I was little. But once my big sister, who was seven years older than I am, went off to college, I got her bedroom. And boy, was I excited because I got the biggest room in the house instead of the tiniest little room that I shared with my dad as his office. So at night, I remember um, laying in bed, watching him work at his desk and falling asleep to him, you know, writing and using his calc, his uh, adding machine. He was in title and escrow. He was a title escrow officer, which is the sale and record. It was the recording of the sale of properties, homes and businesses. And so he was a title escrow officer and which was a big deal back then. And so that's what he did, and so he would work in there, and I slept in that room until I was, mm, gosh, I don't know. Let's see. My sister's eight years older than I am, so I don't know, but I remember going off to camp and coming back, and I had a brand new bedroom. My dad had painted it while I was away at camp, summer camp. Came home, and my room had been painted a pretty blue, and I had a new carpet, and I had a pink and blue shag carpeting, and pretty white furniture. And prior to that, I just had hand-me-downs. I didn't have anything great. Um, I had the dresser my parents had. I had cardboard boxes and nightstand. Um, my little sister had, we both got beds that were matching, princess beds, white princess beds, but... And then she had a dresser, too, that matched mine. We both had that were my parents' original dressers. Um, and she had my mom's cedar chest in her room. So we didn't have anything fancy growing up. We really didn't um, until my sister went off to college. And then we finally got new stuff. So it, that was a lot of fun. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I have to do this back side. Now, this is where I was thinking. I'll, I'll go back to that in a minute where I was thinking I could use my scraps, right? I could just use these. These are the things that are the cutoffs from, um, what do you call them? When, um, digital papers. So I am going to try to straighten this out a bit and use it as a strip. I'm gonna do strips. Okay. So let's get rid of that, and I'm going to glue that on. That's kind of perfect along there. Maybe I could go, maybe I'll go across the top. So anyway, 
my younger sister and I are about uh, not quite a year and a half apart, a little less than that, a little over a year. Looked a lot alike, so everyone thought we were twins. They called us the Soda Twins, and uh, we even made the newspaper because people thought we were twins. It was so funny. Uh, my mom and dad got tired of telling people we weren't twins, and so we all just went along with it and said, yeah, yeah, whatever, you know, we're the Soda Twins, and um, made us unique, you know, so <laughs> crazy in our little world then. And so I grew up in, I was born in the 50s, and so I grew up in the 50s and 60s, loved it. We had the life where you drank out of the faucet and rode in the back of the station wagon and, um, or the back of the truck with the wind blowing in your hair, no seat belts, you know, rode your bike, skated and stayed outside till it was pitch black and mom and dad called you in. So we came from a life of really a lot of fun. We, we had a lot of fun growing up. I mean, it was the best. We got to play outside till it was dark and hide and go seek and roller skate, uh, ride our bikes everywhere, um, walk down to our friend's house to spend the night for sleepovers. Oh, I loved growing up um, in our little town of Campbell. It wasn't a big town, it was a little town in San Jose, kind of a like a part of the bedroom community at back then. It was very small. Um, and it was a time where you could walk down to the grocery store and be a little kid and walk to the grocery store and your mom don't worry about you. Walk down to the gas station or um, go get ice cream. You know, you didn't have to worry. It was fairly safe. No place was ideal because there were creepos running around everywhere, as you know, but it was... I think it was a good time. I really enjoyed when I when I grew up. Hold on here. I'm gonna go like this. These are gonna be smaller pieces to start. Oops. Yeah, I'm just kind of grabbing bits and pieces out of this bag that are decent size. Oh, they're all the same pinks. You know, so. We pretty much are just going to, it's just going to be pink paper. There'll be a few other colors in there, here and there, but not a lot of other things because predominantly when I started out was working in pink, then I kind of got away from it and last year went back to what I love the most, which is pink. I don't think I want to, let's see what else I've got. I got any other colors besides just these pink ones. Not really. Hmm. I don't mind if they're skinny. I went to the elementary school, which was pretty much right behind our home. We just literally went out our door, hung a left, hung another left, hung one more, and walked right up to the school. So that was pretty fun. I really enjoyed walking to school every day and walking home. And we lived in a good-sized neighborhood. There was Town Park, which was just above our neighborhood, part of our neighborhood, but just above it. And um, a lot of our friends lived up there. And so we'd pick them up on, they'd pick, you know, we'd all meet at the corner and walk to school together. And my best friend, Kimmy, was on the way. And so I would pick her up on my way to school every day. I'd stop in and she would be late for school as usual and grabbing a Pop-Tart, <laughs> which I was so jealous because my mom wouldn't let us eat Pop-Tarts. And um, I was jealous very jealous. I wanted Pop-Tarts like everybody else, but mom was not into that, so no Pop-Tarts for us. We had to have bacon, egg, and toast every morning for breakfast, sometimes oatmeal, but not very often. And, um, boy, I wanted Pop-Tarts. Sometimes, if she wasn't in the mood for breakfast, she'd stick it in her backpack and not tell her mom, and then she'd give it to me. <laughs> 
as soon as we got out of um, eyesight of her mother, she would hand me her pop tart, and boy, was I in heaven! I would, I would make that last all the way to school. I mean, I was like, she's like, really? You don't get these? I'm like, no, my mom won't let me have any. And so, she was really strict about sugar. And so, boy, any chance I got to break that rule? So now I'm a sugar holic. <laughs> Seriously, I have a thing for sugar like you cannot believe. I think it's because I wasn't allowed to have sugar, so I always wanted it, I'll tell you. Um, let's see what else have I got. I'm getting some colors here, you guys. I found a few colors. Yeah, see? A few. Okay. So, and her mom and dad, oh, I loved her parents so much. They were like my second parents. I was always at my friend's house growing up, always at her house. And um, I practically lived there. Her dad was school principal in Gilroy, which was a town south of us. And he had quite a drive to work uh, every day. But, you know, he loved his job. He was the principal. Her mom was a social worker in uh, San Jose, downtown San Jose. So she worked full time. So sometimes she would come to my house after school. So I knew no one was going to be around for big sister wasn't there. Cause she had a sister who was older than her. Like my, my sister was older than my, me. So, um, she would hang out with me or I would hang out with her. But, oh, I loved her dad because when I was struggling in math, he would tutor us together. So we, I would get tutored with her and, you know, he, and he was so patient and so calm. My dad was just like, what do you mean you don't understand? And he was totally different. I was like, okay, well, let's go over it again because she and I both were struggling. So he tutored the two of us. And um, I learned so well the way he taught. And I didn't know at the time I had a learning disability, a big one. And so I think he suspected. But in those days, they really didn't have a name for it so you know he didn't but he worked with me every day and in fact him and I got the same test same score in our tests and I got brought to the principal's office because she always got good grades in her math and I was terrible at math I couldn't add one and one um I had a big time learning disability for numbers and so uh I got brought to the office and accused of cheating and um Boy, it was so mortifying, and I had not cheated, and I told them I hadn't cheated, and they didn't believe me. They didn't believe me. Finally, her dad came to the school, because I told him what happened after school. I was crying. He said, why are you crying, sweetie? And um, he just loved me, and um, I told him, and he, so he went stalking down to that school and gave them what for and said, I've been working with this child, and um, I've been tutoring her and she's tutoring with my daughter. So of course they got the same score. She wasn't cheating. They're not sitting close enough to each other. My sight wasn't that great to where I could cheat across the room. So it was great because he went to bat for me. And um, when he passed away, just be, he passed away six months before my dad broke my heart. So when I lost both of them, oh, it was so devastating for me. I really felt for Kimmy because I... I felt like I lost my second dad when her dad passed. So it was a double whammy. And then I lost my dad right after that. It was it was hard for both of us. We were both pretty devastated to lose each other. And my parents were, were good with her too. And they, you know, they took her with us and we went to church and I went with her to synagogue. We were a funny couple because I was Catholic and she was Jewish. And I went to synagogue with her and to her Sunday school. And she went to church with me and to my CCD. So we were quite the oddball pair. <laughs> But loved each other thoroughly. Still do. We chat when we can. She's traveled the world, that girl. She became a teacher. And um, now she works with college students, helping them plan their life. And um, I think that's what she's still doing. Um, mm, I forgot. We talked not long ago, but I was pretty sick at the time. And so um, I don't remember all of our conversation. But we had a good good talk. And um she was a teacher, and she has grown two grown children, one who's married. And I don't think her son is married, but I know her daughter's married. So, very successful, both of them. I think they're both doctors, if I remember correctly. Both her kids are doctors. Wow's that girl. She did a good job. I don't think Kim watches my videos. She could. I don't know. I've never asked her if she did. 
probably not. I mean, she's not a crafter. We, we used to craft and sew together when we were young, but as she got older, she did some quilting. She was a quilter. That is one thing I do remember about her. She did quilt quite a bit. So, um, let me put this on here. My other best friend was Deborah. We met when we were five. Um, I think I met Kim the year before I met Deborah and uh, Debbie. And then she moved away and she came back. So we got to be friends and then we missed each other and then she came back and oh, it was fun. So we had a lot of fun too. She's a lifelong friend and um, we had our kids, uh, our, my son and her daughter are just the exact same age or within just a short amount of time from each other. They're pretty close in age. They actually went on a date together. My son took her to one of her dances, her daughters, to one of the dances. And unfortunately, it was on the night that my mom passed away. So it was a kind of a rough time. But those two were pretty inseparable as kids playing together. They went to different schools. So he took her to her dance because she didn't have anybody to take her. So and Debbie and I, oh my gosh, we went to beauty school together in high school. We dated best friends. We married each other's best friends. <laughs> Ah, uh, so that's other story for another day. And the fun part is that best friend was the husband I have now is Greg. And her husband was Dave, which is Greg's best friend. I introduced them and they hit it off and they ended up getting married. Unfortunately, they did divorce many years later, but um, not till after they'd had their daughter. So, what time is it, you guys? Let me see. How long have I been chit-chatting? About 26 minutes. I know this isn't terribly exciting, but I'm just taking really minimal scraps that I never thought I would use for anything and turning them into a collage, the back side of the collage page for this. I think they'll be pretty together. Yes, there'll be some color, but there's also just a lot of plain old pink here, you know. So let me, like I said, these are all just bits and pieces from the edge of digital kits. You know, when you cut out everything, you cut out all the goodies. And had all this pink stuff that I thought, what am I going to do with this? I didn't have the heart to throw it away. And someone said, oh, don't throw it away. You'll use it for something. I... Didn't know what, now I know, right? Oh, sticky stuff. I got sticky stuff everywhere. Because, you know, when I cut this into cards or whatever, it's gonna be cool. I'm looking at what else is in my tray here to see what else do I have in pink or... Um, oh, there's another one of those. I wish I had some other prints, but it seems like I was always using the same things over and over. I was using, at the time when I first started out, I used a lot, and I mean a lot, of um, my porch prints. Oh my gosh, I was the my porch prints queen, along with Rachel and Tracy Fox. So I'm looking to see what else is in here. Oh, there's some other, not much of anything, but a little bit of something, a little something, something. And whatever I don't use, I'll probably pull aside and maybe use later. A lot of this should just go into the garbage, I'm pretty sure. But look at, I'm actually using some of it. Ooh, I see some pinks. Look at that one. That was pretty. There's some pretty good ones at the bottom here. Oh, that's from Jolene's. I see a lot of Jolene's kits in here. Boy, do I. Oh my gosh. 
You guys, I just made a huge mess. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay. I've got strips of stuff. I'm going to put into my strip box. You know, remember I told you I created a box for strips? Well, some of those are going to go into that. I think. You know, I just scooted papers all over the floor. <laughs> oopsie. Oopsie, oopsie. It takes long to do these little strippies, these little strips. These take quite a while. They're not fast. Oh, hold on a second. Ugh, I'm trying not to fall on the floor. Oh, Whew. okay. How much time do I have left? Oh, I got a half an hour, guys. I don't think I'm going to do a half an hour of this. I don't bore you to death. Hold on one minute because I was just looking and I noticed my glue stick is pretty much gone. So it's time for me to get a new Scotch Create. I buy them in four packs on Amazon. Pretty good price. I, I didn't realize I used to have them at Michael's. I mean, not Michael's. Um, Target. Target and I would see them there and I sort of ignored them and now and then I was kicking myself later because then I think they stopped selling them and the price was really good but you have to get with any glue stick you have to get enough glue on there you know you just have to you can't just have a little bit of glue and expect it to stick because it's not gonna I don't want that bright white edge. I don't mind the other color, but. All right. Oh, I love this strip. Is that gorgeous or what? But I need to get rid of the white. I don't want to tear it. It takes too long to line it all up. I'm quicker with my scissors. Mm, I think my husband's starting some snacks, Super Bowl Sunday snacks. We've got little mini pizzas and we have some, uh, you're seeing this on Friday, but it's, um, it's got the chicken wings and the, I don't know what else. It's got all kinds of goodies there. Let's see. I kind of want to cover up all these other weird little spots I have there. I think I've used all that one. I'm not positive, but let me double check. The back of this is going to be pretty when I go cutting it, isn't it? I wonder if this would fit. If this will fit in my... The only thing is, if this fits in my whale tail, I don't want to use it for this. Let's see if it fits. Oh, it does. Let me get a little bit of this end. I don't know if this end will fit in there, but if it will. I think it's just a hair too small. Yep. I went in. Let me see if it'll fit one more of these, because I just love this paper. It's like one of my favorites. No. Nope. Okay. But if I did, oh, see, I got one. So we'll put that off to the side, because I always like to cut these whenever I can, the whale tails. So... That means this part that doesn't fit can go and that glue stick is very sticky. Whoa. A typical California upbringing. I'll tell you more about it in a little bit. Let me go here. Oh, 
Let me get a little spot right there. Oh, I don't want that same paper, do I? No. Have I got something else here that would fit there? Yeah, right there. My big sister, Junie, who is seven years older than I am, um, used to take us roller skating and ice skating. When my mom was busy, she would take care of her little sisters, which she hated doing. But we had a lot of fun. I mean, we really did. She would take us to um, the fair with her and her boyfriend. They would drive us all over the place. And we had some really good fun with them. We loved going ice skating out at the mall. And let's see. I hated covering up that little bit of green. I thought that was really cute, but let's see. Boy, the dogs are going nuts out today. I don't know if you just heard all the sirens. I don't know where those were going. But. All I've got is little strips. I think they'll be interesting when I cut it. I'm hoping it's going to be interesting when I cut it. Let's see, I'm gonna getting kind of tired of just straight up and down, right? So let's go a few going the other way. I don't know that I'm particularly good at this kind of thing, but it's fun, I don't really care. Now, my big sister is worked for a law firm forever, and she finally got to retire, so she is a major quilter. She makes the most beautiful quilts. Oh, I love her quilts. I have a number of them, and I'm very blessed to have those. And my younger sister, Antoinette, uh, as you know, you've seen her beautiful work on her. She is big time into crochet work. She does the most beautiful crochet work blankets and gloves and hats and scarves and and then she also has her um embroidery machine business so and you've seen her laces and things um, on my channel and that i use those i just introduced you to those i think last friday you got to see some of her work and thank you for those of you who went over and got some goodies from her i really appreciate it She lives about mm, two hours away from me, so we didn't get to see each other too often, but we did get to see each other quite a bit during the holidays this year, Greg's birthday, you know, things like that. So that was really nice. I don't get to see my big sister often. I haven't seen her since, mm, it's been about five or six years. I used to see her every year. She used to come out for, come out every summer to the beach and hang out with us, but that's a good story. We, um, my aunt and uncles, all got together, and I think my mom and dad too, and they purchased a beach house together. And over in Seacliff, uh, which is by Santa Cruz. Everybody knows where Santa Cruz is, right? It's always in the movies, so uh, over there. And um, we would go there every single summer. We, we were ocean babies. We spent every summer at the beach with our mom and dad and um, at our aunt and uncles well I think even my parents owned part of the house for a little while everybody went in on it and then after a while others you know they bailed out didn't want to and so I think just two of them ended up owning it together in the long run but we call it the family beach house and so spent our summers going to the beach house and going to the beach every single day until we were brown barbecued little babies <laughs> playing in the ocean and building sun castle sand castles and getting burgers at the local drive-through burger joint you drive up and you know have the big arch oh it's so fun you guys 
it's so much fun. So that was kind of, you know, and um, my sister usually comes out every year, but since my dad has passed, she hasn't been out to, I've been back to California. So I'm hoping she'll come back again soon. Maybe this year we'll get her to come out. She's got to come back and she's got, she needs to come out here and pick up some stuff that was my mom and dad's that she wanted. So she's got to come out and get that. I start begging her. Come on, sis, you get out here. Maybe we can stay at the beach house. So, all right, you guys. This page is done. Boy, is it built up, though. It's got quite a bit of dimension. Hopefully, you guys saw it all and I didn't do it all off camera. Nope, you saw it. Hey, I mean, from what I can tell, you did. So, I've been wanting to get that page done forever. Now, I still have a bunch of this stuff left, you guys. Should I just do another page and be done with it? Maybe I should, huh? What's on this side? Because I think I'm, I'm good with this stuff. I'm going to leave this... And a little baggie on the top because those are bigger picture pieces that I could use for that. So I'm gonna I'm going to move this little tray away. Uh, I do have one that is full of um, oh just beige scraps. Yeah, nothing nothing even worth playing with. Ugh. Okay, those are not worth playing with. So, I actually think I need to dump those. But I've got some other scraps we can grab if we get to the back of this. I think I'll just do the front this time. Sorry, that was my head. You just saw everything, didn't you? Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, my mouth is dry. Hold on. Oh, yes. There might be a tiny bit of glue left in that one. Let's see. Is there a top or a bottom to this? No. I kind of just like that. Isn't that beautiful? That's uniquely Ella's papers. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Okay. Maybe we can go like that. Look at that, you guys. That did a whole entire page. I don't know what these are from. I don't know what these are from. Oh, these are these are Sam Pools right here. I gotta find the pack that those go with. Okay. Well, let's get these glued on. Let's see if I've got spaces or what I've got. Okay, so I'll start over here in the corner. Nope, I like it that way. Or no, I like it that way. All right, let's get these. Might as well finish this one, right? Okay, I've used every last drop of that into the garbage you go. Goodbye. Yes, I know I could scrape it out, but I just don't think I'm going to. Well, Sometimes I do it later and create a little, I keep a couple of glue sticks and then I create sort of a glue stick when I've got enough little bits and pieces. So. I'm going to make sure I don't glue a bunch of, Yeek! oh my goodness, I'm a hot mess sometimes. There we go. Let's go like this. So needless to say, I tried to make sure my kids had a similar upbringing. We took them to that same beach every summer and weekends as often as we could. Took them to the same park that Greg and I used to ride our bikes to in Las Gatos until we moved to where we live now. And um, the town we live in now until we moved away. We used to take them to that park to play, same park we played in as kids rode our bikes too and fell in love so um yeah we made sure our kids 
oh, we had this great little ice cream parlor that we used to take our kids to that was in Blossom Valley. And um, they, they used to sell these darling little ice cream cones that are about this big. And of course, our son was, oh, two or three at the time. And he thought that was great. I mean, to get an ice cream cone all to himself. But, you know, it was about the size of a quarter. <laughs> really wasn't much but oh he loved it and the couple that owned it oh a darling darling couple um and they adored him oh they would see him coming and they had his ice cream ready for him they knew his favorite flavor which was mint chip same thing every time and if he was a really good boy and hadn't thrown any tantrums or anything he would get a double scoop which was two quarters <laughs> And occasionally they would sneak it in there. I'd say, oh no, he doesn't need one today. And I turn around because really I didn't have the money for it. Um, I wouldn't have enough money. And so I turn around and there he is eating one. And I'm like, you guys, and they're like, don't worry about it. They were like these wonderful ice cream grandparents. <laughs> uh, especially if it was just he and I, we would come in and, um, you know, and I would get a little tiny one too. And um, you know, they knew I didn't have the budget for it. So we lived in the same neighborhood as this ice cream parlor. So it was a lot of fun. And, um, that was one of the things I really missed when we moved, moved to where we are now to our home here is I missed that neighborhood play. And I missed my best friend who, you know, we'd gone to kindergarten and everything together. Well, we were just up the street from each other. So we used to take our kids and we'd go mall walking to get our exercise and strollers and the biggest treat was at the end of the school year and the beginning of the school year, we always took the two of them to McDonald's and we would meet there and take them to lunch at McDonald's to, to start the new year and end the new year of school from the time they were in kindergarten to the time they were in high school, you know, till we moved away. And um, I would have liked it to be high school. I would have liked us to have been able to be there that long, but that didn't happen. We moved away and so, but... I would go back every week, drive clear to my girlfriends, and we would craft and shop, and I would go up there and do my shopping, because we don't have any stores like that down here. I'd go to Michael's and Joann's and the fabric stores, and, you know, I tried to keep as much of my old life when we moved away as I could. Um, we moved away for financial reasons, because it was cheaper there, but, oh gosh, it was my home, and I missed it so bad. Broke my heart to leave there. I moved down here because this was very rural, very country, and I'm a city girl, so. And there's not a lot of trees down here. It's pretty barren. I mean, the trees that are here are nowhere near the trees that were there. Here, it's mostly open fields for farming, so, you know, we didn't have that fruit tree, lush hill thing going, and um, boy, did I miss that. I would drive there just to see the green because it gets very brown here in the summer. It's kind of ugly here in the summer, but up there in San Jose, it stayed. My parents were born and raised in San Jose as well. So I was um, fourth generation. And my kids were fifth. So it broke my heart to move, but we just couldn't afford to live there. And it wasn't very safe at the time we moved. San Jose was a very dangerous place for kids at the time. Look at that. Look at all these beautiful sheets we have, plus the, the others here. Yep, that one's really bright. Whew, and there's that one. I can see I'm going to have to do some gluing. But So, look at that. I'm really excited. We've got all these great pages now. Yeah, when I rip these out, then I'll cut them, you know, and glue any edges or stitch or whatever, whatever I need to do. So, yeah, I was able to use those up. We were able to use that up. That's going to be so pretty. I can't wait to see these cut up. I don't know which side I'm going to like better. That's supposed to be the blank side for writing, but I think these are just going to be a double tag. I may have to put some plain paper on them. I'm just crazy about that. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. Oh, new glue stick. Nothing like opening a new glue stick. New pencils. Like when school starts, you get new pencils and new glue sticks. All right. So I think that that's good enough and enough chit and chat. I don't have too much else to share with you right now, but we'll talk about the more in the future and have another day of chitty chatty when I'm just doing some I don't have to think very hard these are all my I am so excited I finally have a glue book you guys I finally have a collage glue book by Gail that has actually something in it more than two pages 
So I'm really excited. I just used plain paper on the back of these. And so when I cut, they're all just going to have a beige paper on the back because they're really busy on the front. But I wanted to try. I don't know what I'll do for the back of um, this one. If I'll just do a plain page or maybe I'll do a plain pink page. Maybe just a sheet of paper of some kind. I don't know what I'm going to use. Coffee dyed paper maybe. I think maybe I might do that. Um, so the backs are all just plain. I don't always have to have scraps on scraps, you know. I just thought it was fun to to try that. I wanted to use up some of those pink scraps. And, oh, I'm really happy with how that came out. So we did we did this page, we did this page, and we did this page. So we got three done. And what I might do um, when I turn off the camera, I have these are snippets. Um, so I may try those on the back of this page. So I've got lots of, uh, snippets and papers and, you know, I have a lot of that. Tons and tons. I've got book page. Ooh, I've got some pink strips that are different and I've got, oh yeah, I have some of these that I could put back there. I've got some of this I can put back there. So I think that'll be fun, you guys. So I think that's what I'll do when I turn this off. I have good book page strips. I've got a bunch of strips. I think I'll do is I'll do strips on the back, either maybe down this way or across. Maybe down this way. Maybe I'll do them that way. That would be fun. Something like that. Oh, so there you go, you guys. Well, thanks for coming along and letting me chat and share my life with you. And, and I hope you all... Have a fabulous Friday, a wonderful weekend, and I will see you all very soon. And I love you guys. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.